Welcome back to Every Other Carl. I'm Carl, and I am back working on Every Other Carl headquarters. So today's project is carpeting. Um, did a bunch of just painting and making things look nice, but now I want to get rid of these really raggedy old carpets. So you can see, uh, first of all, this, this carpet is horribly stained, and it doesn't match the color of the walls at all. So I'm going to be redoing this room, and I'm going to be redoing this other bedroom, which is equally old and nasty looking. So pretty simple rooms. They are about 10 feet by 12 feet each room, or 10 feet by 11 feet. Um, pretty much square. There's a few cuts, but all in all, this shouldn't be too difficult a job. I'm just going to rip the old ones out. I'm going to leave this, the uh, tack strips along the wall. Those are the strips of woods with, with nails coming up out of them. That's how you hook the carpet on. I'm going to put padding down. These carpets actually never had padding. So one thing you can tell is there's kind of a lip here. There's like a bump. As you go along the wall, there's flat carpet, and then it goes up onto that tack strip. No more of that. I'm going to have padding. So first things first, I'm going to do some ripping out of the old carpets, install the new carpets, put down some baseboards that are missing, and then take it from there. Maybe I'll do another project, not sure yet. But for now, a little bit of carpet ripping. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is cut this carpet out. It's the easiest way to get it out instead of wasting all the time to try to pull every corner, pull that huge thing out all at once. I'm gonna cut it into slivers and roll it up into little slivers and bring those out. strips are still down. Um, I'm still going to use those. I don't have to replace them. I might get a couple extras just in case there's a few spots that need them. But uh, it's about time to go get some carpet. Let's go to Home Depot. carpet. I'm going to start with the padding, the underlayment, put that in and then throw the carpet in. very simple room. It's under 10 feet wide and it's about 11 feet long. Um, standard carpet widths at Home Depot are 12 feet wide, so I don't have to make a seam in this room, which is pretty excellent. Also, the uh, underlayment, the padding is six feet wide, so I have six feet on this section and then a little bit extra on that side. Um, I'm going to put a piece of tape over the seam here and then just slap the carpet down on top of it. tight into the corner and slicing it right behind that tack board. All right, so I have the carpet all cut nicely, going all around the different corners and uh, flush up against each wall. So now I'm going to use my knee kicker 
this thing uh, just kind of hooks in. It's got these little hooks in it. Hooks into the carpet, and then you stretch it out by kicking it with your knee and tucking it into the corners onto the spike strips, tack strips, whatever they're called. So I'm gonna just stretch this out, um, make sure it's all tacked down, put the baseboards back on, and we'll be done. Baseboards back on, put a casing between the carpet and the hallway, and be good to go. Let's measure this out. Got it. Threshold is in. I'm gonna consider this room done. Baseboards are in. I think the carpet looks nice, feels good. It's nice and soft. All right, I'm gonna do that second carpet and I'll just put that on a time lapse so I don't bore you with the details. carpets for tonight. Pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it makes the room look a whole lot better. That's going to do it for today's video. Um, if you would, please subscribe. And uh, if you have a question, go ahead, leave it in the comment section. And if you like the video, like the video. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.